Hi guys and welcome to another edition of Law Hackers. Today we're joined by Zach Bingham from Automio. Uh, he's across from the ditch in New Zealand, uh, over in Australia at the moment, talking to law firms about their product, uh, which is allowing law firms or lawyers to build their very own bot. I guess that's the idea from the website. What's your pitch, Zach? Yeah, sure, David. So um, we're allowing lawyers to take their IP and, and do something different, do yeah. something more innovative with it. So. Um, when we say that, say for example, we take um, a precedent document that you might be drafting in a, in a manual kind of way, um, you automate it using um, one of our sort of lawyer bot structures, yep. and that allows you to build the document itself, um, use it yourself internally much faster yep. than if you were doing it the kind of traditional way. Um, and it also allows you to package up that IP, put it on your website, send it directly to your clients, um, use it to collect information, produce reports or pieces of advice or, or sell basically self-service um, document products directly to your, your in, um, clients or customers. Brilliant. And of course you guys are a New, a New Zealand based and founded company but you're over here in uh, Australia and you said there's some pretty good traction in the Australian market in the legal sector. Can you give us a bit of a snapshot of the types of clients that you're working with here? Yeah, sure. So we've, um, we've had some, yeah, some really great interactions with Australian customers and um, you know, I found the Australian lawyers to be really forward thinking yep. um, in general with, with the way that they're looking at, at legal tech and, yep. and the things that they're wanting to do and yeah, nice. the way that they're wanting to service their, their clients and, um, and, and open the legal market to um, you know, not only those people who can pay um, bigger money for, for access to the law but um, to all sorts of different markets. So. Yep. Um, had a really uh, some some really good interactions with a lot of um, smaller sole practitioners, okay, um, yeah. people who are going out on their on their own to do yeah, um, yeah. some really cool, really innovative, interesting stuff. Well, um, I noticed you've got uh, Jess Kinney from Kinney Legal uh, yep. on board, one of the sole practice in the in the Lexu network, and yep. uh, she was one of your first to launch, I think, with that with this product. She she was yeah. We've um, we've spent. Yeah, the last six months working with um, Jess, and she's got a really great product offering through yep. her website now. Um, incredibly, yeah, enthusiastic and, and loyal participant. So, yeah, yeah. Been, and you know, like any tech company, we really appreciate support from from people like Jess. Absolutely, yeah. and, I, and I saw some pretty big names as well on your website. I think KNL Gates is in there. Do you want to talk about how that type of big law firm are using the product? Yeah. So, um, the sweet spot small medium sized firms yep. for a number of different reasons that anyone that sells them to law firms will understand or big organizations it's a, it's a, a long process or the bigger the organization the longer the process yeah, but yeah. I think we've got a few bigger names in there that are, are trying it out and um, and looking at it as an alternative to to other products that they've perhaps tried before yeah, yeah. And, and how are the firms using it you've got uh, a document automation uh, aspect to it where firms can automate their own documents for internal use and then there's also like you said there's a there's a marketplace aspect that allows firms to sell their documents to clients directly via their websites right. is that is the use case skewing to weigh one side versus the other at all um, it yeah really mixed in the way that, that customers are using it mm. um, we want to obviously see more and more sales through websites and, and eventually a, an organic marketplace where you, know, you or I can come and buy all sorts of different um, bots or automations, be they um, document producing or, or advice producing. Mm. So um, we're about to see in the next you know, couple of months some, some really good middle-sized kind of Australian firms producing um, their first sets of, of automations on their websites that they'll be selling. Yep. Um, and kind of in response to those uh, companies out there that already do it, you know, yeah, the proven yeah. business model, but um, up until um, sort of now they've been restricted because nobody can afford to pay developers the money that it costs to build you know, bespoke automation, but the yeah. idea is that they can they can do that with Automio, they can take their IP and, yeah. and commoditize it in that way, and, and, and the e-commerce and the, and, and the paywalls and all that sort of stuff is built into the platform as well. Great. Well, well speaking of cost and, and pricing, do you want to give us a bit of a snapshot on the types of pricing tiers that uh, are available on your net, on your platform. Yeah, so um, originally designed as a as a SaaS product, so mm -hmm. so priced like like one, and, and by that we mean it's cheap for the value you get for it. Yep. No, well, we certainly think so. So yep. um, want it to be accessible to small and medium sized firms and and even outside of law as well. Yeah. Um, so we sell in packages with packages of of um, different kind of features for for different firms, and that's. Yep. 
um, starting at around about 200 New Zealand dollars a month for a sole practitioner. Okay. And kind of goes up in bands from there. You get um, certain automations built, um, kind of other, other add-on services depending on what kind of level of pricing you're on. And then from uh, Solprax, what are the next sort of couple of tiers of Yeah, so, so Solprax and then yeah. a, um, a, small, a small firm, yep. which is sort of 10 user licenses okay. with some um, bot building automation done for you. Okay. Um, access to our customer team. Um, uh, we work with your web developers to get stuff on your website, all yeah, that sort okay. of stuff. Um, and then jump up to the next level, which is... Um, what, what are the prices for those? Oh, sorry. Tiers, yeah, yeah so, so that first sort of small firm tier, yeah. um, 1250 New Zealand yep. dollars um, per month. Um, and then up to the next level, which is um, we call a medium firm, up to uh, 30 users, uh, 3000 New Zealand dollars uh, per month. Um, and then kind of a, an enterprise model beyond that, which is sort of come and see us and, yeah. and, t- and, and tell us your use case. Because yeah. you know, even, even not all law firms are uh, kind of following a law firm model now. So, it's, yeah, um, yeah. so, so some conversations um, go a little different, particularly with sort of in-house teams and that yeah, sort of stuff. Of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an interesting one. Pricing is very, very difficult. Yep. And a lot of startups are, you know, take a long time to get their pricing out into the public and, and into the wild, but it's the best way to get the feedback. Just to take your point uh, on in-house, are you getting some traction with in-house, you're saying? Uh, yeah, so we, um, we've, I'm working with a number of, of in-house teams of big corporates at the moment. Great. Um, but like big law firms, it takes, yep. takes a while to, to work through that procurement process, but um, yeah, the response from, from in-house teams has been really positive, not just from the sort of automation of repeat documentation side, but um, actually using Automio to provide advice to different business units as yeah, well. Yeah, great. Um, the in-house thing is actually really interesting because it's it's surprising when you go into you know some quite big businesses and I mean law firms are the same mm. and and the the lack of sophistication and document automation is mm. is quite surprising. So yeah. you know business teams out there that that um, don't have access to their internal legal teams because of materiality thresholds mm. that sort of stuff. Yep. And you know, we can use Automio to. Um, to provide pieces of advice and ring fence yeah, yeah. sort of errors and so and the, the business can self serve and, and all that yeah sort of thing. exactly yeah. yeah I mean it is interesting that you do have a number of SaaS providers that start out targeting law firms with things that are better cheaper faster uh, but that doesn't always equate with uh, what law firms are all wanting out there yep. I wish it did but it does seem to be a slightly more natural fit when it comes to in house and faster yep. better cheaper is always going to be a, a big tick. Uh, but just finally, just to wrap up, are we able to talk a bit of you know, numbers in terms of where sure. you're at with, yep. um, are you guys funded, if so, how much, or are you yep. looking for investment going forward? Yeah, so we, um, we've had two rounds of investment so far. Mm. We had a friends and family round, which is yep. a good place to start. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and we, had, uh, we, we closed the second round in the l- later part of last year. Okay. Um, so we've taken 1.25 million New Zealand dollars yep. so far. Great. Um, and we, uh, yeah, we're, we're out looking for the right partner basically for the next round at the moment. Yeah, to, okay. To and when do you think was that 2018 or? Um, yeah, it's a it's a process that's ongoing yeah, right. basically. Yeah. And and just quickly, the team, how big? Like engineers, your own yep. uh, product managers, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, so uh, there's ten of us at yeah, the moment. Okay. Um, yep. We're taking on another developer, another um, salesperson. Uh, not salesperson, another customer um, support person yep. really soon. Um, so out there in the market looking for, for a couple of extra people. Um, uh, you have two, uh, three developers at the moment, um, CEO, yep. uh, yeah, good. <laughs> customer well, success good. team that's growing. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Okay, well, if, if you're in the market out there, there's a couple of people that, you know, there are a couple of jobs it sounds like that are yep. on offer. I definitely get in touch and contact Zach. But otherwise, we better get going. And thanks so, so much again for, for joining us and your insights. Yeah, not, not a problem. Pleasure. Okay. Right, cheers. Uh, and thanks, guys, for tuning in. Really appreciate um, your viewership. We'll stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll talk again soon, maybe in next week.